Hi. Challenge was born by the winds of change.
Beautiful. Today our pilot, uh, Dave Dudley, is going to fly the uh, German Fiesler Storch. This aircraft was developed in, uh, uh, what was it, 1939, wasn't it? Oh, he's doing his clearing turn now. He's looking for other aircraft that might be in the area. Exactly. Visual flight rules. He's uh, responsible for looking out for other aircraft. I have, yes, Sarge. Account. All right, Dave's about to start his takeoff roll now. He's running it up. Hey, here he goes. Okay. 2001, 2002, 2003, 2003. I look at that land in there now. You can see where they call it a storch. Uh, storch. It's quite a, quite a maneuverable aircraft. An aircraft that can really operate well. That's it. Short, short takeoffs and landings. Not only does it take off in a short distance, but of course it lands in a short distance as well. Well, that's camouflage plane. Yeah, yeah, it's French. That's French for camouflage. But French for it cannot see it. Now really, if you see it in front of the trees over here, it'll just about tend to disappear because it blends right in. Well, if you, if you look closely, the bottom is painted uh, kind of sky blue. So if you look at it from below, it blends into the sky. If you were above in another aircraft, and you're flying over its trees. Yeah, come on. See that? It's a lighter color there on the bottom. It's wearing a bigger prop. More ground clearance. Inverted, right? Inverted, yes, absolutely. All right. Yeah, bigger prop. Also, the pilot doesn't have as high a cowl to look over, and he has better forward visibility. He's doing a, that's a low, slow pass right there. I don't know, did he touch? take the restoration tour at 2.15 today, meet right over here, we're going to show you the U.S. answer to the Fiesler Storch, the Stinson L1, also a short takeoff from that Yep, Dave's got to slow down once again at a little altitude. Well, what's Dave up to now? I think he's having too much fun, we're getting too much fuel. I didn't check it, but uh, I bet he's checking. B-1, combat missions, and a B-24 Liberator bomber in World War II, right here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Then went on to fly about everything the United States Air Force flew between World War II and Korea, including the P-51 Mustang. So, really, God bless you, man. You, you, what you did then lets us do what we do today. So we want to salute the men and women in our armed forces today, yesterday, and the folks that will come tomorrow. So big hand for the men and women in our armed forces today. All right, now, Barry, you have messed this up enough, but I'll give it back to you. Thank you, Sarge. Okay. Uh...